I want to show you this book. It's called Human, which you wouldn't know from the title, but it says so on the spine, so it's got to be true. Um, but kidding aside, it's uh, one of the finest books I've seen in a long time. It's uh, made by Orion Kudas, a Hungarian photographer. This is the edition number. So when you, you see the dust jacket doesn't cover the whole part of the book, and then inside there are pictures, and this is, I don't know if you can see that. You can, right? Yeah, it's slightly embossed here, very nice. Very nice touch. And then you open the book and the end paper in the beginning shows you the titles and explanations, well, very brief explanations of the photographs inside the book. Just a very nice touch. And it goes straight into the pictures. The printing of the book might uh, confuse you a little bit, but apparently the photographer told me it is modeled after how old technical books were printed, so everything is very uh, carefully considered in the book. That's why the black and whites look a little dull. Um, in the beginning I was really a little bit annoyed about that. I thought that didn't really work, but now I'm fine with it. I think it's fine as it is. So the book is about, well, you can sort of tell, I guess, what it's all about. It's a conceptual book, in a sense, but it doesn't feel conceptual, it doesn't feel heavy. It's about uh, bricks and the kinds of things you make of bricks, meaning houses and homes and structures, and the relationship of those bricks to the human scale. Because clearly if you make very tiny bricks, you need millions and millions of them to build a house, and that's not really a feasible idea. And if you make your bricks too big, then that's also not feasible. And you need thousands and thousands of people to build your pyramids. So I think this book started out from a, a, an artist residency a photographer had at some factory in Romania or something like that, and then expanded from there. And you see this variety of uh, photographs. Some of them are, are clearly staged. These are workers at a factory. So there's this collaborative nature in the book. And some images are more conceptual, if you want, than others. And I think it works tremendously well. There's a book like this, if you told me you make a book about bricks and human scale and what have you, I would probably have thought like crying a little bit inside, just anticipating a completely dull and not interesting book, but this is this book is anything but. And this is a very fine example of how you can take a, a seemingly dull conceptual topic and fill it with a variety of wonderful images that you know are just a, a delight to look at. So note the the nice color of the uh, ribbon used to bind the book. It's all in the details, you know. When you make a photo book, everything is in the details, including, of course, the fact that the edges were painted here. As far as I know, this book is sold out. It was made in a bunch of different editions. There's a a German edition, an English edition, a French edition, and a Hungarian edition. Um, I'm hoping... See the little repetition here? That's very nice. It's not really a repetition, it's a variation. Um, hoping the artist will consider reprinting the book. I already urged him to do that. Now whether or not that's going to happen, I don't know. It would be a shame if this book were not more widely available. touch here. So it's a, in a sense it's a very classical book, but at the same time it's a very contemporary book. It bridges that gap, which is not an easy thing to do, I think, because people either make very classical books that then end up being very, very conservative, or they make very contemporary books, which you know the classical crowd then doesn't like to look at. I think this book, based on the reactions I've encountered from people, manages to reach both crowds, which I think is uh, quite an achievement. 
and, and for that reason alone, of course, it needs to be seen more widely. You'll notice maybe if you look at this carefully, like the motion blur here, so a lot of these are 4 by 5 images, maybe all of them. I don't remember all those details. Yeah, almost through. Now, of course, if you look at a book more frequently than I do, then all these pages will relax a little bit and will be a little bit easier to open. But I tend to look at books carefully, but not too often. So if I look at a book too often, it will lose its, its value to me. I don't want a book to become so familiar that I cannot discover anything new in it. It's the final picture. And then here's the colophon. You can ignore that. So, uh, Gabor Odin Kudas, human. Sold out, but hopefully, if you all email him, soon available again.